You want to know what I think a Best Actress performance looks like? It looks a little like this. It ain't pretty, but it's powerful. And knowing the Academy, they will probably favour Lady Gaga in A Star Is Born than give Nicole Kidman a nomination for Destroyer. If that happens, the Oscars have lost all meaning. Hey up guys! So, more bloody London Film Festival coverage for ya. Today's film up for discussion is the latest film by Karen Kusama, who's best known for films like Jennifer's Body and The Invitation. Her latest film, Destroyer, is an unflinching vendetta story about an LAPD cop called Erin Bell, who's played by Nicole Kidman, and she's on the hunt for a very dangerous man from her past called Silas, who's played by Toby Kebbell. The film kicks off with a murder scene. A haggard, visibly disheveled Erin examines the deceased body and notices the calling card of Silas, a hundred dollar bill stained with purple ink. He's resurfaced and appears to be calling Erin out. The title of the film then booms onto the screen and the wheels of the plot are set in motion. Erin's backstory drips in and out through flashbacks during her pursuit of Silas. Each flashback gives the film and her character more texture. We learn that 17 years ago, she and her former partner Chris, who's played by Sebastian Stan, were once undercover cops who infiltrated Silas's gang and her motivations for finding Silas now become more and more clear. Nicole Kidman is utterly stupendous as Erin. Her career renaissance of the last two years just illustrates how versatile a performer she is, and her work in Destroyer may be her most transformative of all her most recent work. Written by Phil Hay and Matt Manfredi, Destroyer almost feels like two movies in one. One being a sun-baked cop noir, and the second a broody anti-hero character study. The latter is the far more engaging of the two because I felt lost watching Nicole Kidman's performance. The makeup department have done great work to make her look like a walking car crash. Her eyes are bloodshot, her teeth are nicotine stained, and her usual porcelain skin looks like weathered leather but it's Kidman herself that transports you. She goes to a place which I've never seen her go to before, a place of uninhibited rage and sadness, just constantly numb with a thousand mile stare in her eyes. Even though Erin is a cop, she is disgraced by everyone that she comes into contact with. But having said that, I still found myself rooting for her, even though she's looked down upon by her superiors. She's a terrible mother to her daughter Shelby, who's played by Jade Petty John. And she also does very questionable things to find the old gang members that she was once a member of. Erin is a complex character with a lot of baggage from her past. She's not a superhuman, she takes a lot of punches and kicks in this. Some physically and some mentally. But you really do feel those blows. And I like seeing what is usually a male-driven genre given the same treatment with a female lead. It's not just men that go to ugly depths, women can too. Now for my criticisms of the film. I mentioned before that this film kind of feels like two films in one. Now whilst that can work to terrific effect if the two narrative strands inform and complement each other, Destroyer, however, feels like its two narrative strands are at odds with each other, rather than helping each other. Sometimes it's a gritty action heist film, and sometimes it's a mellow, somber character study, and they don't quite sync together. Also, the plot is quite predictable and uses a lot of conventional tropes. It's easy to figure out Eren's motives very early on, and it unfolds exactly how you think it would. Writers Phil Hay and Matt Manfredi also give us crumbs to follow, which eventually lead to a revelation in the final act. You might think that it's a twist, but it's not as cerebral storytelling as it makes out to be. The plot comes full circle, but the reveal has been done many times before in this genre, and has been done better. Also, Toby Kebbell's villain, Silas, isn't given much screen time, and when he is on screen, he doesn't have too much to work with. And because of that, I didn't feel any catharsism with this film's finale, because I was indifferent towards his character. And that blame falls mainly on the shoulders of the writers, because he wasn't established enough in order for me to care. So the resolution of the film didn't have as much impact as it could have had. Okay, so let's ask those three questions. Would I watch this again? Probably. It's not a flawless film, but what Kasuma gets right is the tone and the aesthetic. And of course, Nicole Kidman, gives a powerhouse performance in this. I would like to see her get a Best Actress nomination for this, but I'm a little worried this film might go a little bit unnoticed by the Academy. But yeah, I would probably watch this again for her. Would I recommend it for you guys? I would say yes. Even though it's a bit formulaic in places, it's still very gritty, compelling cinema. And if you're a fan of anti-hero character studies, then I'd say this would be a great one for you. And what score am I gonna give it out of 10? 
I'm going to give Destroyer a score of 7 out of 10. There you go, guys. Those are my thoughts on Destroyer. This film doesn't come out for a few more months, but are you guys excited to see this? And if you have seen it, be sure to let me know what you thought of it. And my quick question for you guys today is a tough one, but a good one. What is your favorite Nicole Kidman performance? God, she's got such an extensive catalog of varied, versatile work. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys do like this content, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Stardust, all that information is in the description link below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. For more things related to movies, TV, and popcorn culture, I'm Luke Hirfield, and I'll see you next time.